What's up YouTube? It's your boy Swag Buzz here back with another video. All right, so today I'm going to talk about Tennessee State versus Jackson State. Tennessee State, they're kind of mad at Jackson State because Jackson State pulled out. I'm going to talk about that. But first, I cover swag content over here. So if you like swag content, hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when the next video drops. All right, so Tennessee State, they wasn't happy, y'all. They were really mad <laughs> that Jackson State pulled out of this game. Uh, so Dr. Glover, the president of Tennessee State, who was also my former professor at Jackson State, she was the dean over the College of Business. Very nice lady, very sweet woman, but she doesn't take any crap and she's gonna say whatever's on her mind. She's gonna say how she feels. So she came out with a spicy letter to Jackson State it said Jackson State University's announcement that their football team would no longer play in the Southern Heritage Classic is an insensitive and irresponsible act that has far reaching implications and goes beyond football. The Classic is about more than TSU, JSU, our alumni, and fans. The Memphis business community, including small black owned businesses, many of which are mom and pop businesses, will suffer incalculable damage. These businesses rely on contracts that are generated as a result of activities associated with the game and purchase supplies and other items in preparation for this annual event. What's even more disappointing <laughs> is that there was no opportunity for discussion or a courtesy call to the TSU president, director of athletics or head coach before the decision was made to breach the contract, which has three years remaining. TSU found out from a national scheduler. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was a lot. That was a lot. I mean, she really went hard with this letter in the most professional way. Now, who's in the right here? Now, I've heard from a lot of people and alumni and things like that, and they've told me that this goes down to the promoter. The promoter wasn't giving JSU enough money, and it didn't make sense to, for JSU to continue this game because they wasn't making enough money. Do I feel sorry for TSU? Yeah, because this game is one of their biggest money makers. But at the same time, TSU, you've been asked to join the SWAC for so many times. We've been asked you two or three times to join the SWAC. You turn us down, but you want our teams to continue to go up there and help you have one of your biggest games of the year. No, this is what happens when you join a conference like the Southland Conference. You have no guarantees from any HBCU. Any HBCU doesn't have to do a game with you. You know, that's the risk that you take when you join a conference that don't have these schools in there and you want to continue to do business with these schools. Now, if you were in the SWAC, you wouldn't have to worry about this. Now, who would be a good replacement for Jackson State? I think Southern or Alcorn would be good replacements for Tennessee State to uh, get to play in this game. I think Alcorn fans would travel up to Memphis and play this game with them, and they'll have a good time. You know, I, so it's not all bad. And maybe Jackson State can revisit and get into this game in a couple of years. Who knows? They just got to get the money right. And from what I've been told, that was the main problem. The money wasn't right. The promoter was getting a lot of money and Jackson State recognizes how big their brand is, recognizes how many people can make a lot of money off their brand, off their fans traveling to these games and things like that. So Jackson State is not playing with their brand. They know people can make a lot of money off their brand, a lot of money off their fan base. So, yeah, they're going to want to get that money back. They know their worth now. So, no, I really don't feel sorry for Tennessee State. My thing is. You should be relying on your conference to make majority of your money. You shouldn't be relying on the out of conference game to be your money maker of the season. And if you have to rely on the other schools in your conference, well, a school that's out of your conference to be your money maker, you need to leave that conference. So yeah, Tennessee State, y'all need to stop playing and go and join the swag. I don't know why y'all taking so long. Y'all need to join the swag. Come on home where y'all belong. It's been a long time coming. Go on, make the decision and join the swag and stop playing around. And it's not like it's not something that their alumni wants, you know. All the Tennessee State fans and alumni that I've talked to, they want to join the HBCU conference. So I think Tennessee State need to join. Uh, they can try to get South Carolina State to join the SWAC with them. So it could be two extra schools coming into the SWAC. If I had my way, that's what would happen. South Carolina State and Tennessee State would join the SWAC. Because we don't really have a market up there in this South Carolina State area. So I think they would be a great addition to the SWAC. Well, yeah, man, what y'all think, man? Y'all think Jackson State was wrong? 
Or do y'all think Tennessee State need to <laughs> stop crying and just move on and get another school? Y'all let me know what y'all think. I do think this was unfortunate, but it was something that needed to happen. You know, Jackson State did what was best for them. You know, I do feel bad for Tennessee State, you know, that it happened without notice. You know, I do think Jackson State should have let them know what they were going to do. And they didn't have to find out like everybody else. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. I cover swag content over here. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when the next video drop. And I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm gone.